What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Randy here with RTS at Mobile Gaming and bringing you a Dynamite video today. We are playing the Lord of the Rings Rise to War and in today's video I have decided to highlight Bohika, King of the Dead. This is a King of the Dead build, units, gear, and skills plus elite abilities for the Fantastic Tactics Evolve Season 7 ending in just a few minutes. Here we go. And I've decided to highlight this build against a very powerful Gothmog. My Gothmog build has been dominating people uh, this season, as many physical Gothmog builds have been doing. And in today's video, I'm going to highlight Gothmog getting almost completely one-sidedly dominated here. Get excited. Here we go. All right, so let's start with Gothmog. You can take a quick look at what I'm working with. First of all, I'm running primarily Reapers, right? They're getting plus 9 HP for my units and my bonuses. I mean, my gear and my bonuses, okay? A lot of damage output here. Plus, overall, manipulate on the helmet and a little bit of healing on critical care from the accessory, okay? The build is pretty straightforward. It is top R0 maxed out, R5 with 22 out of 29 points, and with the bottom R0, all my leftover points getting that plus defense. A lot of plus defense for my units, a total of plus 29 for my uh, skills and plus 15 from my equipment, giving me a total of plus 44 defense for my Reapers, okay? Um, all in all, pretty powerful build. You combine that with the fact that the Reapers have double strike, with the fact that my Eagles are going to be crazy tanky when battling on a non-land structure. Okay, they already are crazy tanky against melee, and now we're making them even more tanky. Okay, and you combine that with um, the Cavaliers here who are running Rise Up. I should have some really stellar damage from the Reapers with very high tankiness for the Marge overall. Now, into the King of the Dead. This build is glorious. This is a Rise Up build, of course, why not? A dual Rise Up build using Insurrection and Obsidian Dagger. This weapon is disgusting for these units. Clearly, with 26k healing output over uh, whatever the amount of rounds is, it's very powerful. He is running one march each of the Sentinels and the Cavaliers to gain the dual Rise Up ability right here. Um, really making his march. You can only fight one fight with it, but you can guarantee you that fight's going to be dominating, okay? And the actual Oathbreakers themselves will be using Significant Assault. This is very powerful since the King of the Dead negates healing on the enemies uh, in his own units. This Significant Assault will mean that his Oathbreakers deal 30% bonus damage to my march for the entire fight. Really powerful. So 30% damage from this. Another 30% damage from Rise Up. These units are going to be disgusting, okay? And lastly, for the skill build, this is a very high respect level King of the Dead. A lot of skill points to work with. I would say that he's probably in the 10 range, 10 respect level or more. Um, very powerful build. The rest of his gear, he's got anti-focus damage received on his chest for his helmet. He is running Hysteria. And then for the Drums of Moria, is pretty standard across the board, okay? Into the report itself, obviously his Oathbreakers did all the work. Uh, on my side, my Reapers did all the work. And I'll be interested to see how the damage actually plays out from those Oathbreakers with plus 60% damage output. That is crazy, guys. 60% bonus damage on the Oathbreakers. This is a disgusting amount of damage. Into round one, what does that look like? The Eagles trying to hit for 98 Oathbreakers taking no physical damage here. Cavaliers kill the enemy Cavaliers. That's good. I didn't waste an attack there. Oh my god, the Reapers just got hit for 41,000 damage, guys. Oh my god. Reapers take very little damage, okay? <laughs> take very little damage with Gothmog, and thank god I manipulated them with Oathbreaker. I mean, with... Uh, I. Uh, I can't speak. Thank God Gothmog manipulated the Oathbreakers to reduce their damage by 42% next round. That is a big deal. Here we go. The Reapers hitting the Oathbreakers. The Oathbreakers hitting the Eagles. So the Eagles, even though they take so much reduced damage, and the Oathbreakers are dealing 42% reduced damage, they still deal crazy damage. This is so disgusting. They still hit the Eagles for 14k. That's crazy. The Reapers hitting back for 13.6. Oh my goodness, ladies and gents. A lot of damage coming out here. This is, oh my god, one-shotting the Cavaliers. 40k damage on the Cavaliers. 
Reapers are stunned. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. What is cooking? And the Reapers are stunned again. Two stuns. Three stuns in the first four rounds. They got stunned in round one too, didn't they? They did get stunned in round one. So that's three stuns from the Frightened Ability. RNG really got the, got the victory over me in this fight. But that's why Frightened is so powerful. That's why many people run anti-stun, guys. Oh my god, the damage just keeps coming in. At least in round five, Frightened is gone. It's time for the Reapers to deal some damage. They're afflicted by madness. They hit their own units. Oh my god. Oh, the Reapers finally get a chance to deal some damage and they hit the Eagles. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, what is happening? What is happening? Guys, I just want to remind you, the Oathbreakers uh, are hitting like rocks, uh, okay? And yes, they're dealing focus damage. Yes, Gothmog uh, reduces his focus damage taken um, by not a whole lot. Um, let's see here. Yeah, these are both physical. So really, I'm only reducing my focus damage received by 14% from Orcish Warlord. Therefore, his units are hitting like absolute domination murderer killers pew 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 got me good if i was using an anti-burn damage chest maybe this would have played out a little better but i don't know that's a lot of damage guys so anyways i'll keep this video short and sweet what a crazy battle this was shout out to pohika with the beautiful build i love it love you long time randy out